Alexander Wills. Australia, not a hard thrower. Judge had that big home run yesterday. High fly ball right field. There it goes. See ya. In an eye blink. A two run home run for Judge, and the Yankees jump out to a lead. That didn't take long. Well, Michael, Baltimore is coming off a four game series against Toronto in which their pitching staff just got obliterated. It went just to the right center field side of the scoreboard, so it got in on a line drive home run. Well, all rise. Here comes the Judge. Another home run, four in four days. And the Yankees take an immediate 2 nothing lead. With Cole, his worst inning is his first inning, and each succeeding inning, the batting average goes down against him. So in other words, if you don't get him early, he's going to get stronger. And the bases are loaded. So here is Ramon Urias, 275, seven homers and 37 ribbies. And the payoff is a breaking ball cut on a miss. Well, he pushed his way out of it as he struck out Urias on a breaking ball down. No runs, one hit, and three left. Uh, Rizzo is on with one out. Here is Stanton. Two all. High fly ball, deep right field. Going back is Santander. See ya. A home run for Stanton. A two run blast. And the Yankees lead 4 0. Well, he didn't have to stop and deliver a message to Baleka, so he got around the bases a little quicker. <laughs> Man, you're amazing. Six straight games now the Yankees have hit uh, multiple home runs. They both this is a changeup. Stayed up a bit. I don't even think Stanton really hit this one all that well. Might have got underneath it, but he doesn't have to get all of it to get it out, particularly in Camden Yards. Giancarlo. <laughs> no see well, Stoparlo. And the Yankees now take a four-nothing lead. One and two on Voigt. Voigt lined out to short in the first inning. Driven deep to left field. Fair ball, it's gone. It is gone. A long home run for Boyd as the Yanks go back to back and they lead 5 0. Well, at this rate, the Oriole fans are going to think the Blue Jays are still in town. Well, this one is crushed. Breaking ball just says a spinner right there for the taking. Voigt does not miss it. Watch him look as he hits it. Coming right at you, folks. Voigt and Stanton go back to back <laughs> and a belly to belly. And the Yankees take a 5 0 lead. So Trey Mancini, one at bat, he is out of the game. It's right abdominal soreness that has knocked him out of this game. And DJ taps one to Anthony Rizzo. So here is Austin Hayes. Austin Hayes <laughs> swings and misses. Looked like he chased one out of the zone. Hayes not feeling too good right now either. Here's Coles 3 2. Fastball strike three. I, you saw the pitch. What could he be thinking of? So, strikeout number five for Garrett. 5 0 New York, two outs now. Runner at first. Seven pitch of the at bat coming. And that ball is cracked. A fair ball inside the bag. And with a boost from first base, Falake is going to round third. And he will score easily. RBI double for Ryan Mountcastle. RBI number 80. Double number 23 and the Orioles on the board in the fifth. Well, that's what I was talking about. To, you know, get a hit. He makes a nice adjustment a little late on the 3-1 fastball. This one all over. And again, the one thing that, that every time we've seen him coming up in spring training, that the lake is going to sprint around the bases to make it 5-1. to He said Ryan Mountcastle has bad speed. The Orioles have first and second with two men out. So here's Stewart who uh, pinch hit for Mancini and grounded out the first. That was in the fourth. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Chase the high fastball. Strikeout number seven for Cole. It's the third inning that Orioles have led off placing a man on. Chopper to second. Torres oh. boots it. Oh. And he can't even get anything. Wow. So routine, but not if you don't catch it. They moved him off a shortstop yeah. two days ago, and this is what happens at second. Well, let's see. How, I mean, it's routine. I mean, except he just doesn't catch it. I mean, you got a five to one lead. You are looking for the lead runner. Now, if you double him up, that's fine. It, it never ever happens if you don't catch it. And then, of course, the shell is just trying to, I mean, he has to fast forward everything a little bit. 19th error of the season committed by Torres. So, first and second, nobody out. And the 3 2. Up the middle, and there's a double play as 
Torres took it himself, moving to third is Hayes, and it's a 4-4-3 DP, which they really needed. Two down. It was much tougher than the previous one. This ball is scorched. Waves off Urshela, makes the play himself, and then it's a double play. There is the 1-0. Valika hits a high fly to left. Going back is Stanton. Before he hits the track, he makes the catch to end the inning. Top of the eighth, 5-1 Yanks. Gallo, Torres, and Urshela. Like that. See ya. He's in the park. 6-1 <laughs> Yankees. Well, he came right in the door and got on the dance floor. That's right. That's his ninth with the Yankees and his 34th home run overall. He homers to deep right field on the center field side of the high scoreboard wall. Hey, he's pal Joey. He homers to right center, and the Yankees take a 6-1 lead. Long at bat against Santander, 6-1 Yankees. And that one is ripped to deep right field. Going back, Judge, he makes the play on the run. Took an extra base hit away from Santander. One right fielder robs another one. I'll tell you, he's a, a well-rounded baseball player. Great arm, covers ground. It's a nice running catch. And this year he's added stealing some bases. It's unfair to be that big, that agile. I mean, he is a gold glove caliber right fielder, and Michael King knows that. It's been the home run ball for the Yankees, and they've used it to a great effect. They lead 6-1 to one against the Orioles, first game of this three-game set. And that one is ripped down the left field line. See ya. Five home runs. And it's 7-1. Yankees. Boy, do they love Camden going yards. No visiting team has hit more home runs at Camden Yards than the New York Yankees. 379 of them now since Camden Yards is open. Two pitches up and in. One down the middle. And one into the seats. Well, look at that follow through. Another double digit home run player, 10th of the year. Well, the new pitcher is going to be Sal Romano. Yesterday, he re signed with the Yankees, and here he is. He's back. Gutierrez up the there middle. There you go. Again. That sneaks through. And a wave around for wins. Kelvin Gutierrez keeps the ninth inning going. Cedric Mullins will bat. It's a seven to two game. You know the other thing about you know having good stuff and not commanding it is th is the fact that and they're going to come out and talk to Romano is that you get to see more pitches the more he throws. Watch the hand right there. Oh, I think he actually. I don't think he was trying. I mean, I can't think for him, but it looked to me he was almost like worried that ball was going to hit him in the face. So he's going to have to leave wow. because you never know, and you lose all feeling in your fingers. And it's going to be interesting to see how Chapman can switch it on because he was yeah. not in the mindset of pitching in this game at all. And here he is in the game with runners on first and second, one out, one run in. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. Used the splitter there, and the Orioles are down to their final out. Swing and a miss, and that will do it as the Yankees win 7-2. to two, And they're stacking wins now as they go two in a row after beating the Twins and now starting this three-game set. And all in all, Kenny, a win is a win is a win.